Now, has this ever happened to you? You got your new monitor lizard, and he's not very tame. You know, he's pretty wild, pretty rambunctious, and you want to learn how to socialize this monitor. You know, how to tame him down. However, in all of the videos that talk about taming the lizard down, they're already tame. So how am I going to get a fresh start in understanding the lizard's body language, the lizard's behavior, and going to the proper steps of having to tame him? Well, if you answered yes to any of those questions, or you're just here to see monitor lizards, you clicked on the right video because we are going to be starting a new series, How to Tame Your Monitor Lizards from the Beginning. Or start. Titles, in, in, pro in progress title. So this actually happened to me for quite a while now. Whenever you look at videos, you know, how to tame a water monitor, how to tame a monitor lizard, how to tame your lizard. Um, it's all done with already socialized animals. So you're going through the steps and the process and how to do it. However, the animal's reaction is a lot different from what my animal do, you know, an untamed, unsocialized monitor versus their already socialized animal. I really wanted to start documenting my progress with my Argus monitors, not only just having them, you know, an already tame monitor lizard be like, oh, just do this, you know, once a week, then this and this, but actually going in a step-by-step -step process once a week, maybe however long until I get to the next step of what I'm doing, the steps that I'm taking in order to habituate and socialize these monitors. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I have two Argus monitors right now. The male has been here for a few weeks, so he's actually a little more chilled out and calmed down versus the female. Uh, we're just going to be going into his enclosure, then inside her enclosure, the squeaky chair, I swear to God. We're going to be taking a look at both those animals, how those animals react to me, and the steps that I'm taking in order to socialize them. However, this video is going to be a little tricky just because they really do not like the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera almost on the side. So it's, it's kind of out of the reach, it's not close to whether it's bothering them and they're getting a little fearful over it. And instead I'm going to be filming over through my phone. So we're going to have kind of a joint double dual um, phone thing or camera mode. Ha Damn it. We're going to be dual filming today, so the quality in some points might not be as good. I mean, the, the phone camera in this thing is not bad, but it's definitely not compared to an actual DSLR camera. So, like I said, we'll be getting some side shots with the DSLR, and then we'll, going, we'll be going in the front, or the, you know, P, POV view, not like the, that... Two cameras, one video. It's gonna be awesome. I'm done. I, I cannot do these intros very well. Let's get to it. Let's talk about how to socialize your monitor from the first step. All right, so here we have the Argus monitor. This is my male. He's been with us for about five weeks. And honestly, the um, pretty much the most of you're going to do is just kind of sit here. <laughs> You kind of just want to stay around in the general area that he's in, you know, let him see you, let him notice you, and then pretty much just let him be a little, um, I guess the word is exploring around, you know, get him out of this, because right now he's in this kind of fear stage, but now you see with the tongue flicking going on right now, he's getting into almost this um, investigating stage, something where he wants to figure out what's going on here. So pretty much I just sit here for, I want to say, five, ten minutes at a time. I'm just chilling. Sometimes I'm on my phone. I just wait for him to come to me, see if he wants to figure some stuff out. Sometimes I put my hand in there and give him, make sure he gets a little scent of it, but never try to force him. Um, out of the three weeks that I've had him, I've never tried to um, pick him up after I put him in his setup. I've never tried to pet him yet. Uh, we're really just at what this first step is, which is him trying to figure out, you know, who we are as an owner and as a keeper versus, you know, trying to force handle these animals. Um, Argus monitors, really most monitors in general, they're very intelligent. Um, this isn't going to be an animal like, say, a crested gecko or a bearded dragon where you're just, um, what's the word, like picking out, if you pick them up a lot, they're just going to be able to be calm and socialized. They'll just get acclimated to it. Um, monitor lizards are not like that. Uh, with them being a more intelligent species, you're going to be needing uh, a little different of a method. I like the hands-off approach. Honestly, I think the hands-off approach works best with monitors and tegus. Uh, this is pretty much it. Obviously, hands-off is a pretty, uh, you know, it, it's... <laughs> It, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, just sit here, hands off, and really get to know each other, you know? Let the monitor um, figure you out, know who you are, and then get a little inquisitive with you, trying to um, come hit you. So here, I'll put my hand just right here. Let him get a little scent. And then just back up. That, that's, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the first step of what I... <laughs> 
Um, anyway, so there's two parts to this first step. Um, it's this, and then of course, tong feeding. We got some rats defrosting, right? Or not some rats, some um, small fuzzies defrosting. It's a little treat for these guys. Um, I'll show you guys how I feed them and how I have them. I usually have this one walk up onto me, so he kind of sits on my lap, and then I just hand feed him mice until I run out, and then he runs back in. But um, yeah, we'll get that into a second. But first, let's go check out the female Argus. No, no. Hang on. You coming out, buddy? He usually doesn't venture outside of his enclosure. Yeah, there you go. Yep, see? He gets a little sent to me. He's like, oh, I think I'm all set in here, right? Oh, you coming back? Yeah, see, now we're fully in this, um, investigating mode where he's trying to figure everything out. He wants to know who we are. He's trying to get all the information that he can. So, we'll just let him do a little tongue flicks. He's gonna smell my toe and then run back in. Uh, here we go. This is really what I was trying to get on video, not, um, the first couple of minutes where he just kind of stood there. So you're gonna see a big personality difference between this guy and my female. They are pretty much complete opposites. He's a lot less confident. He's a lot more, I wanna say shy, uh, reserved. You know, he just does these kind of tongue licks and goes back immediately. Um, stuff like this. And though with my female, she's gonna be a lot different. My female has a lot more confidence. She's a lot more in your face. Uh, pretty much the stereotypical Argus attitude is what my female has. She's very coming after you. Uh, it's a lot interesting. It really mixes things up going from trying to um, socialize this guy to trying to socialize her. There's different methods that I'm using and different uh, steps I have to take between the two of them themselves. But all right, I think we've been here a little long enough. Let's switch over and head over to her place and then we'll go into the second step, which is that tongue feeding. Over here, now we are with the female Argus monitor. Now, like I said, the female is going to be a little different than the male as far as her personality. She seems to be a lot more inquisitive. Uh, her feeding response is a lot higher than the male. She's very head on with her feeding. Uh, she usually goes right after it. She's very good at that. And she, like I said, has a little bit more confidence of figuring stuff out. You can see she's coming right up to me, trying to see me. Uh, this problem with this female I'm having is not so much having her be less shy and trying to get her to come out a little more. Um, it's the fact that she thinks my hands are food. So she immediately will go after them as they are, or as she thinks they're food. So that's something we have to deter. Uh, usually in this situation, I would wear gloves. Up, up, up. But, um, you know, I, <laughs> she thinks I'm food, basically. Oh boy. Yeah? Oh boy. My goodness. So as you guys can see, a lot different of a method that I'm having to do here <laughs> with this female. She is not one that's going to be shy. She's coming right up to me, trying to eat my hands basically. So I'm trying to keep her contained inside the enclosure, but not having her stressed too much, trying not to touch her too much to get her stressed out, but just showing her that we're here and it's not feeding time right now. We're just here to, you know, have her a little scent. So usually I'll just let her See, she thinks I'm food right there. That fast tongue flicking is a sure sign that she's trying to bite. You can see her pupils dilate a little bit inward as well, so you just want to remove your hand when she starts doing that. So feeding response is right there. I'm gonna do it one more time. Boom, those pupils dilate. The funny thing is she thinks I'm food, but she also thinks I'm me at the same time. So she's like huffing and puffing, but she's also like, hey, I want to eat you. It's uh, it's pretty interesting. This is such a beautiful girl. Oh, sorry about the vid the video camera's not really. I'll try to steer her more towards this way. Yep, yeah, there's that feeding response. You see that faster tongue flicking, those dilated pupils. Got some great footage of her actually yesterday of um, her tripoding. You know, I'll probably actually just post it at the very end when we before we start feeding her because it was some great footage. Uh, it might be uh, not horizontal though. I might have filmed it vertically, so it'll look a little awkward. But um, this is pretty much it. I just put my hand in here, let her get my scent, and um, try not to stress her out too much. It's pretty much all you can do in the first steps. You know, try to get them a little used to you. Uh, this is the stuff I'm gonna be doing for a couple of weeks to a few weeks, maybe a month depending on them. So another sheer sign that this female is about to bite me is she's very, oh, you'll see it when she's feeding. 
The way that she feeds is very peculiar. She's like slinks around the meal and then gets it. So she's like directly behind her under and underneath it at the same time. Uh, a little funny. Obviously, she needs a bigger black basking platform. I actually have one. I just bought a new one. I thought didn't know she was going to be this big. <laughs> Picture was a little misleading. So by now, she actually has a bigger basking platform. Uh, this is just I had to go out and buy one. I got a, a stone paver for anyone that is interested in what I'm using. Yeah, there it is. Just gonna move this girl away. See, she's a good girl though. She's very adventurous, very curious. Uh, she's gotten me, uh, I think, just once so far where I wasn't looking. You'll see it gets a little trickier when I'm trying feeding, so I try to get them to um, step up on my hand. But, uh, she doesn't have any grip on this. But um, it's hard to figure out, you know, which she's looking at. So she'll go right after the mouse. You'll see it later where I'll have her go out my arm, and then halfway through she gets that scent of my arm and realizes that she can eat my arm. And um, that's what she does. She tries to eat my arm. So good stuff. Um, I think this is pretty much it. See if we can just a little, just a little, little touch. Ooh, not happy. So, like I said, this is the stuff you don't want to do. So now she's in that stress position. She's got that tail ready to whip me. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just hands off. Uh, don't do what I just did. You're gonna bite me. And um, yeah, just letting her get my scent, figure out who I am, trying to get her to not think that I'm food. That is the biggest hurdle I'm trying to face with this female. Yep, right there. Um, yep, so I guess we're gonna move on to feeding now. Oh, she's got that tail curl, so as soon as she's like, oh, you are not food, you are a threat. She was curling that tail ready to whip me. Um, let's move on, let's get into the feeding. This is where things get a little more interesting. Alrighty, so now it's feeding time. She sees the tongs and I think she already knows what's gonna happen. So another great way to socialize your monitor is food. A lot of monitors are food motivated. Arguses are definitely one of those. So she'll come right for it. Try to steer her more towards this right. I can't do the phone while feeding with... Come here, sweetie. We'll go over here. Yeah, there you go. Come on. See if we can get her over here. Nope, she's just staring right at me. Let's see if we can get her to get the scent. She's the camera and she's a little cautious about it, which is the issue. There we go. There we go. All right, we got her back. There we go. Beautiful. Stuff I like doing during this time is putting my hand in and then trying to get them to go up my arm. Stuff like this. Uh, with her, I have to watch her very fast because she tries to, of course, eat my hand. So it's a little bit of trying to get her up my arm and not trying to get her to latch onto my arm, basically. So now she's got the scent of my hand. See, it's stuff like that. Let me see if I can, um, yeah, this is just not gonna be a good one, just based on, I can't really need to get, I need a, if anyone's looking for a, a cameraman or trying to get hired as one, we need one here at DVCB Exotics. Just like, oh, but now she has my hand. So did you guys see that? Was bright to go for the mouse, but then got the scent in my hand and was about to bite down on the hand. So let's try to get her to come up again. Really want to get her focused on that rat or the mouse. Up, up, up. Let's try one more time. Well, any win's a win when you don't get bit. That's <laughs> what I say. See how many we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so she gets two more, and then we are gonna move on to the male. Look at that glorious tripod. I love it. She's been tripoding like 24 seven. It has been great. So let's try to do this one more time. There we go, that is perfect. This is exactly what she want, is her climbing up on the arm. You like that? This is exactly what you want. This is the first time she's actually ever done this without trying to bite me. You see, she's already... <laughs> All right, one more for being such a good girl. Let's see if we can get her to tripod. Oh, so close, so close, come on. Let's see if we can get her back on the scent. 
Yeah, come on. Oh, she tricked me. All right, beautiful. That was great work. Um, that was really awesome seeing her climb up on my arm uh, without actually trying to eat my arm. This is exactly what I wanted. Uh, like I said, we've only had her for about, I want to say five or six days. I'm not 100% sure. I know it's definitely been um, less than a week at this point, but she's already making great progress. And yeah, now let's move on to what this is going to look like for the male Argus monitor. If you have a monitor that's a little more shy and a little more uh, reclusive and not as confident and outgoing as this female here. I guess we have arboreal monitors now. Whoops, looks like I got the wrong species. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to angle this at the best spot where I believe he's going to go, which is somewhere around here. And let's start the feeding. I apologize about the camera quality. Maybe I should have had my wife uh, film. However, I felt like it would just stress him out more. I want him to get like the most natural uh, deposition where they are. Oh my God, I just slid down. There we go. So pretty much what I do is I'll put, place my hand right here and I'll just have it, use it as a bridge for him to get the, uh, whatever the food item is. This time it happens to be fuzzy mouse mice. I usually go right back in, at which point I will grab another. Let's gotta figure it out. It's like, hmm, how do I, how do I eat this big item? Oh, I'm just gonna fucking swallow it whole. And until they do it, monitors, man, they are crazy. All right, you got that all down? Ready for another one? And it's almost down. He's gonna just squeeze it in that tummy. I don't know. <laughs> all right, here we go again. Uh, so he got the he caught the scent of my hand. So now he's a little more cautious, as you can see. But we'll try to get him back on the mouse. Oh. There we go. There we go. Perfect. But I can't do this with one hand. So now I'll just retreat back. We got two more to serve before we wrap things up. So let's see if we can get him back. Tasty mouse. What about the mouse? Come on. Beautiful. It is crazy how they just swallowed those things whole. Incredible, really. Alright, we got one more for you, bud. Let's see if we can get them all the way onto the lap. done. You, just, you got a swallow. Big swallow. Yep, got to clean that face off. All right, here we go. Last one. Got to make sure he stays focused on the mouse. He's starting to figure stuff out. He's like, I know what this means. It means me getting out of the enclosure. You full? Is that what it is? You done eating? And guess he's done with the mice and guess we are done with this video. Look, look at that unhappy face. Oh my goodness. He's like, get away from me. I no longer need your food. Well, there you have it. How do you socialize your monitor lizard from the start or doing the first steps on doing it? Uh, pretty easy stuff, you know, just don't really touch them. Let them get your scent. Just hang out with them. Usually, you know, in the same room. I usually just open up the enclosure. And I just sit with them, scroll on my phone, edit videos, anything like that. Just get them a little more curious about you, trying to get in, you know, who you are as a person. These monitor lizards on a deeper level just want to get to know you, want to connect with you. I think that's pretty much it. I apologize that the camera work is pretty shifty. Um, you know, this is my first time trying to do a dual phone or dual cameras thing. And then the hand feeding, I realized I couldn't use a phone because I like them climbing up onto my hand. I have dirt like all over my arms now. I uh, just thought I'd throw that out there for some reason. <laughs>
But yeah, we are gonna wrap it up for today. If you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, kind of turning this into a series on how I'm personally socializing my Argus monitors, give this video a big ass thumbs up, the big one. Get, make five different accounts and like, I want 7,000 likes on this video. I'm really, I'm hoping for 50. I'm really, I'm shooting for 50 likes, I'll be honest. Other than that, if you want to see some more of my animals or my breeding products, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, DBCB Exotics. We're also on TikTok. I don't post on TikTok. Like some cool merch like this design or maybe right here or also right there. You can find those at teespring.com slash DBCB Exotics right in the description, which, by the way, we have patreon.com, patreon.com slash DBCB Exotics, where you could hear exclusive content like a three minute video session of me squeaking my chair. That's not really real, but I figured, you know, people, I hate this chair. <laughs> see some exclusive content before anyone else get to see which animals I get before anyone else to the public. First dibs on my breeding projects and the animals I produce and even the chance to get discounts on my merch and my animals themselves. So, sounds pretty good. Bunch of different tiers for a bunch of different folks. Starts as little as $1 a month, which I mean $1 a month, what is that? A, a McDouble, a McChicken, let's be honest. You're probably better off with a McChicken, but if for some reason you're feeling different, you can find that right down there in the description. I'm out of here. Argus monitors rule. We're done.